Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Friday, April 16th of 2021. There is so much talk these days about who we are in Christ. It comes from the pulpits. It comes from the new worship music. It comes from television and radio broadcasts. But is it really the correct perspective according to the scriptures? When we subject ourselves to this type of doctrine, we actually start robbing Father God of a portion of His glory. Perhaps the proper perspective is to ask ourselves, who is Christ in us? This brings on a whole new and more challenging realization of our right standing in the Lord. So today, this morning's prayer challenges us with the question of who Christ is in us. Father, there is something I'm thinking about that needs a response from you. There is a great amount of talk in Christian circles about who we are in Christ. Father, our pulpits are filled with that message. Many of the new and popular worship songs contain lyrics that are filled with that message as well. Father, it just doesn't settle in my spirit. It's likened to a clay pot boasting about its beauty and usefulness instead of recognizing the potter for their creativeness and finishing touches. The clay pot was just a lump, formless and void of usefulness until it was formed, fired, and finished into something beautiful and purposed for use. This is how we have come into being, each and every one of us, to sing and boast of who we are in Christ just seems to miss the mark, Father. In archery, to miss the mark is called a sin. Perhaps we should stop proclaiming who we are in Christ and start asking ourselves who Christ is in us. Father, not only is this the correct perspective from the scriptures, but it causes us to place our emphasis on you rather than on ourselves. We are instructed by you, Father, to look unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. And even more, let us consider the words from Philippians chapter 2. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Father, he who was your only begotten Son made himself of no reputation, became a servant, humbled himself before you, and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. This is why he was highly exalted and given the name that is above every name. Father, let us take notice. Urge us to pick up our cross and follow Jesus, even into complete obscurity if need be. After all, Father, it's all about you and Jesus, not about us. It's in the mighty name of Jesus I pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.